What up guys, Alex is here at GuitarForce.com. As you can see today, we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, Under the Sun by Black Sabbath. A really cool song, very simple. Um, you know, I think it's great for any beginners, but also to any true Black Sabbath fans who would like to learn how to play this song. Uh, this lesson is going to concentrate on the rhythm guitar parts only, and uh, the tabs are going to be available for download at GuitarForce.com. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Unfortunately, couldn't find the backing track for this song, so we're going to have to have just uh, the guitar parts. And um, tuning-wise, this is uh, uh, the one that is tuned down to the C sharp, so it's a tone and a half on all down on all the strings. Okay, and uh, for the for the uh, sound, I was using the VST plugin guitar rig again. And I'm going to show you the picture of the preset. While you're checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E, which is C sharp technically, so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close up and start the lesson. Okay, so the intro riff goes like this. Okay, so we start off with the power E power chord um, three times. Then we go to B down to B flat. Then we slide up to the D chord, going to C sharp. Then we go down chromatically C sharp. Then we have C and B, and that's the riff. After that, we go into the main riff of the song, which is also being played during the verses, and it goes like this. Okay, so it starts off with the low E string open two times. Then we have 9 on A followed by low E open, palm muted, uh, the, all of the uh, low E's are palm muted. So 9 uh, on the A, then we have pull off 10 to 9 on the A, then we have uh, the low E open, and then we have the last pull off which is 9, nine to 7 on the A string. So we have this slowly. So we play this riff throughout the song during the verses and then in the end we have this scale run which goes like this. So it goes like this. On the A string we have 5 to 7, then on D 4 to 5, back to A string 7 frets, then we have 4, 5, 7 on D, 4, 5 on G, 7 on D, then we have um, this weird combination of notes, but uh, uh, anyway, so it goes 6, 2 times 6 on the G string, then we have a grace note, which means we have quick hammer on onto the 7th fret, then we have 6, 2, 6 notes on the B string, back to G7, then we have 3 notes on the 6th fret of the B string. Then we have two notes, six frets on the high E, seven on B, then another six on the high E, and then we have another grace note, a quick slide from six to seven on high E. So slowly it would be like this. So 
So these two riffs are played during the verses, the main riff of the song, and then in the end the scale run. And then after that we go into the next section, which is an up tempo, and it goes like this. So here we simply play the A string four times open. And then we have the third fret on the low E string. The first one is j just uh, straight uh, notes. And then we have the second one is going to be slightly bent. Just a really slight bend. And then when the verse, the third verse starts uh, on, um, when uh, Ozzy is singing, uh, you can play just like a power chord. And then for the uh, third fret on the low E, we just play straight two notes without the bend. Then we take this progression and we go to the B power chord and we play the same rhythmical figure but uh, on a different um, chord. So it goes like this. So as you can see we play the uh, B power chord going down to the 5th fret for these two last notes. Then we take this, we shift it up two frets up, so we have now the C sharp and we play exactly the same rhythmical figure. Actually this is played during the solo. So that's the first part of the solo then. All we do is simply shift up another fret, so the, to the 10th fret, the D power chord, and we play exactly the same rhythmical figure. And this time, uh, going back for the last two notes on the 8th fret of the low E string. And that's uh, the uh, rhythm part for the solo. Okay, so after that we have the next part which is played at a slower tempo and it goes like this. Okay, so it consists of two elements. The first one is goes like this. So we have a fourth fret on the G string, then we go to the D string, we play fifth fret, and then we have quick hammer on pull off four, five, four on the same string. So that's the first element. Then we have um, the E notes on the A string, seventh fret, and it's a uh, it has a the rhythm rhythmical figure to it. Okay, then we get back to the first element again. Then we have the fifth fret on the A, which is the D note, and we have again the same rhythmical figure. Again, first element. Then we have C note, which is on the third fret, and here the rhythm slightly changes, it goes like this. So it's two uh, quarter notes, then we have uh, three quarter notes, but in a triplet. Uh, feel. And then we go down to the second fret, the B note. We have two quarter notes followed by one eighth note. And then we get back to the first element. Now, um, the first time Tony is playing with this hammer on pull off, and then afterwards he just plays so slightly change of rhythm. So we have four, same thing, but we play. 4 on G, 5 to 4 on D, and that's it, without the hammer on pull off. Okay, and we play this riff also during this, the uh, second solo. And then we have the last part, which is the outro. And by the way, uh, this. The first, uh, what I call the first uh, element, you can play it right here on uh, the different notes, obviously, you know, because it's easier to get here to the 
7th fret here. I mean, if you want to. Or you can combine them, you know, when you go down uh, on the neck. So the outro part is exactly the same with the exception of the last bar, so it goes like this. So as you can see we have some slides here, so uh, the first one is on the A string, we slide into the 7th fret, then we play 5, and then on the low E we have, so it's slide from, it's kind of grace note, sliding from around 7th fret down to the 5th, and we play 3rd, like that, and we play it twice, okay, and then we repeat again. After that, um, we have, instead of playing this part, we just play the power chords, which are the E and the straight uh, quarter notes, so we play four of these. Then we go down to D, and again, four of these. C. Again, four of these, and then we have in the end. Then one more time, and the tempo slows down here. And then we finish it off with the E power chord. And that's how the song ends. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did like the lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.